everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. Today we're going to be unboxing some Imperial Assault base game miniatures. So these right in front of you right now, these seven products are the seven products that you need to take your cardboard tokens from the Imperial Assault base game and turn them into full-fledged miniatures for Imperial Assault. So because the game is something I like so much and I love it myself, I wanted to have the miniatures themselves, so I've got them here. These are the products that you need. The purpose of this video is to open them up, show you what you get inside each of them, and just give you a rundown of the cards and the different figures, what they look like, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna start right off the top. Now these, just so you're aware, are considered by Fantasy Flight. They're called Ally and Villain Packs. So Star Wars has, and you've already seen it if you're running through my videos, uh, I didn't do an unboxing for Imperial Assault, the base game, because I already had it for some time. But uh, starting with all the small box and big box expansions, I'm going to be tearing them all in a row so that as you watch these, you'll be able to actually know which miniatures you need to purchase in order to supplement a particular expansion. Uh, so hopefully that'll help you when you're looking to pick this stuff up because uh, as the app is released, it's going to be craziness and uh, I'm sure it'll be harder to find some of these guys as they're swooped off the shelves pretty quick. So let's get right into the unboxing because that's the reason why we're here. We're going to start with the very, very first miniature uh, from Fantasy Flight Games uh, site is General West. This is the first uh, one to expand your base game with. So we're going to take all these guys and move them to the side. Uh, or actually, you know, we'll keep them in the shot because there's not that much going on really. So what I'm going to do off camera because I am a little terrified. These are in shell casings, and I think if, if you guys are aware of these things, they do not come apart easily. So I'm gonna cut these off screen, uh, mainly because if I don't focus on what I'm doing, I'll take my finger off, and uh, then we'll have, instead of an unboxing, we'll likely have something else, uh, more of a hospital visit type situation. So I have to do my best to keep this thing intact as I cut these shell boxes open. So this is gonna give me Ah, this gives me a better chance of doing this successfully. So I've already made some progress. We've already ripped off the back. Each one is obviously going to have uh, the back. And actually, it even shows General West's uh, assembly. So you can show you how to actually put the miniature together. Uh, it gives you a little bit of credits there. And then, of course, the back is just a picture. So it's more so there to just know how to build the thing. Uh, so once you crack that off, pull that out. Um, and then make your way through the packaging. I've already cut across the top. These shell casings, like I mentioned, are an absolute pain, uh, but they do very good in terms of protection against, uh, well, any, really, even the person that buys it can't get into it. Uh, they're so good. Uh, but they definitely uh, keep thieves out of there, for sure. So here's the first thing that I'm seeing with uh, General West, the field commander, is he's got his component breakdown. So it's a full kind of sheet layout, and actually he even has his own Imperial Research Lab uh, skirmish map, so that's really cool. I, I didn't, I wasn't aware. Uh, there's some a. I don't know what that's for. Those might be objectives that you have to do. It tells you how many um, agenda cards you're getting. Two skirmish missions, two deployment cards, six command cards, and of course the plastic figure itself. If you flip it over on its other side, it looks like you get a forest ambush. So there's actually two uh, maps here. So that's really really cool. I don't know. Does this allow? Now, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is this actually appears to be an actual side mission for the campaign. So that's really cool. So not only are these packs giving you the skirmish option, but they're also creating side missions that you can add into your Imperial Assault base game. That's really cool. So we'll put that to the side for a second. Of course, you get your pack of cards that come in it. Um, so I'll go through these as fast as I can. There's quite a bit uh, to go through in this one, so I may not go through every card all the time. Explosive weaponry, heavy armor overrun, new orders, endless reserves, forest ambush, inspiring command, special modifications, there's General West, ATST, very cool, and uh, stolen schematics and stranded. All right, perfect. It's going to be an interesting thing keeping all these things organized is going to be the fun part, uh, but I'm sure these miniatures are going to be great. So here we go. Now this is going to be the fun part and it's a little sad guys. I'm going to have to show, wait until we actually play, play it, the game, to actually show you these miniatures built because if I take the time to build these on camera, 
you may pass out and fall asleep. But this is essentially how they come. Uh, they're, they're really easy to put together. If you haven't already seen it, which I, at this point you wouldn't have, but as you go forward through these unboxings, you'll see how quick and easy these things are plug and play type stuff. So like for instance, the base here has little two little prongs. You sit the feet in it and stuff like that. So it's really cool. And I, I'm sorry, if I actually get time at the end of this one, I'll try to build it, but uh, I'd like to try to get through all the different packs first. Uh, rather than worrying about anything else. So uh, we'll take that out in a second. So that's that one. Uh, next up, based on the run of order, would be uh, the Royal Guards. So that's going to be the Royal Guard Champion Villain Pack. Okay. So we're going to, again, I'm going to cut this open off camera in order to avoid any uh, destroyed fingers in the process. And then I'm going to show you exactly what you get inside this guy. All right, so here's your, ooh, I just lost everything. So here's your, uh, again, the back of the cover. This one's not that exciting. Just shows you the contents of the, uh, the plastic figure and the cards that come with it. A little bit of talk there. Uh, again, a brand new sheet. So every one of these miniatures is going to come with its own sheet of new stuff. So it's going to tell you what you should see inside of the packaging. Wow, that's a really complex one. So there's a skirmish map. The Kuat uh, Space Station, that's really cool. Flip it over to the back and you get a new side quest. This one's called Infection and looks like this. Uh, very, very cool. It involves Stormtroopers, Royal Guard, Champions, and all that. A bunch of information for the mission briefing itself. Very cool. And then, of course, uh, the cards that come with it. So we'll just quickly crack that open, take a look. We've got ourselves Parting Blow. Couple of those, counter attack, cripple, bodyguard, flurry of blades, uh, Crimson Empire infection card, best of the best, pulling the strings, royal guard champion, data heist, and incoming transmission. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna put those off to the side and move on to the next one. Oh, I guess I should show you the miniature, right? We wouldn't want to jump too 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 far past things. So let me pull this miniature up for you, show what he looks like. I think he looks pretty cool. That's a really nice one, actually. So sorry for my callous fingers, guys. I go to the gym, so my fingers look like, or my hands look like they've been beat up. Um, but yeah, he's really, he's really quite cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ugh, I'm gonna lose him for a second there. Uh, but he's, he's pretty cool. He's got some good detail. He'd be a good guy to paint. And he's got a nice cape going off the back there, too. So I'm excited for that one. Very cool. So I throw those boxes off the side for a second. Moving on to the next one. Uh, the next one in line is going to be the IG-88. So we're going to cut into this guy, take a look at what he looks like. So really, like, the idea of these unboxing videos for you guys is just so you guys can see what you get inside these boxes because they're not required. You get, you do get tokens in the game and, uh, and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, these are not required type products, but you can see they add quite a bit of content uh, to the game. So there's your droid instead of having the token, you got your actual droid. He looks like pretty cool, actually. Um, and again, it's also getting the side missions, I think, is really cool, really expanding the options for the campaign in Imperial Assault. So there's the assassin droid, shows the cards that he gets, the component breakdown. Uh, it comes with a skirmish map called uh, Ord Mental Junkyard, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It has a north and south route, lasers. Um, on the back, Binary Revolution is the side quest. So a lot of these, I think what happens is, and I could be totally off base here, some of these side missions will uh, find a way to bring an individual into your campaign. So that's why you know, that one sounds like I think you have to do this side mission in order to maybe get this particular unit into your campaign. Something along those lines. I'm not sure. Uh, but that would be my guess. So you got Repair, Merciless, Dirty Tricks, Overdrive, Blaze of Glory. Artwork's always phenomenal on these cards. Never, ever have an issue. IG-88's card there and then two objectives. Awesome. So we'll put those off to the side. And we're, ha we're almost halfway. Just gonna show you guys the actual miniature itself. So here is the miniature. That's ah, actually really cool. He's really, really tall, long, and slender, but I mean, he's a droid, but he's an assassin droid, so he's really cool looking. So that's another cool Star Wars 
uh, figure to add in. Next up would be Han Solo himself. There's no introduction necessary for this guy. Everybody knows who Han Solo is. So this is kind of like, I, uh, now when you're starting to talk about the characters that you must have or would love to have as miniatures, if you want to be, you know, careful uh, spending, you can always avoid certain, certain packs, I guess, but there's certain ones you almost want to get. And stuff like Han and Chewie are pretty high on the scale. Uh, that's a no-brainer. Doesn't even need to be said, really. Uh, so you've got, uh, here's his contents, if I can get that to focus. And there's his cards. His figure looks like that. He's got his very famous blaster in hand. And uh, just working off the back of this. And taking this stuff out. The cards out. Perfect. All right, so this one is Han Solo the Scoundrel. Yes, that is exactly who he is. And let's see what kind of maps he gets. The Carillion Underground, really cool. Whoa, that's a really big one. Very well done by them. That's a nice, nice large skirmish map. That's really cool. A lot of, uh, a lot of cool stuff to add. What happens for the, this one's called Imperial Entanglements. This is the side quest that would go into the campaign. Very long and narrow corridors. Uh, so again, very interesting, has a full mission briefing. This is kind of the stuff that I'm really excited about is, like I said, these side missions. Like so much, so much coolness to this. And Star Wars, so you just I can't get enough of it. Um, here is his cards. He's got Slippery Target, Slippery Target, Reposition, Inspiring Speech, Disable, I Make My Own Luck, yes you do, Quick Draw Holster, yeah, he needed that, and the bar. Han Solo with great artwork, Imperial Entanglements, and then the two A and B cards. Perfect. Everything seems to be accounted for there. Accounted for there. Let's take a look at the miniature really quick. What I'm excited to see. Because you, you know you get in the base game, you get Luke and you get Darth Vader. So it's cool getting these main characters in the game and I actually have a legitimate miniature for them instead of using a token. So he looks really cool. It looks like Han, there's no question. Han Solo right there. I'll flip this over to his opposite side so you can see his back. And there he is. Yep, that's very cool, very, very cool. And actually even the different tone too with the miniature denoting a hero. So if you didn't want to paint them, then you know, it's easier to spot them on the table. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I think uh, painting them is going to be something I'm gonna have no trouble tackling. I'm gonna want to eventually get these things painted up one way or another if I can find the time I would love to do it all right next up is Chewie that's right so fan favorite along with Han is companion so again another back there for you that Chewie's character actually looks really cool but uh, they all have so far I really haven't been displeased with any of the miniatures in this game uh, so here we go with the sheet for Chewy. Chewy's got the loyal Wookiee sheet, so uh, he's got his companion component breakdown as per normal. The Imperial Labor Camp is his. This is actually quite large as well. Looks like you're releasing uh, him from prison potentially. I don't know if it's him, but you're you're definitely going into prison blocks in that one. Uh, Celebration is the uh, side quest for the campaign. That's a really interesting uh, layout, and then of course the mission briefing for it. I'll put that off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead really quick and rip through the cards here so you guys can see those. We've got Wookie Rage, Wookie Rage, Roar, lots of anger, hold the ground, adrenaline, debts repaid, intimidation, Chewbacca's card, celebration, and then the two objective cards. Very cool. That's awesome. Ah, this stuff is great. I like I can't get enough of Star Wars. There's nothing, there's nothing. Yeah, it's so awesome. Oh, this figure is great. Fantastic. Well done on Fantasy Flight's part. That's a nice miniature of Chewie. So, uh, very, very cool. I like the detail on it. It's, it's it's a little bigger than most. So if you were to put Han and Chewie together, uh, side by side, uh, they've got the scale correct there, like in terms of height and size. Do they just look good together? That's perfect. Awesome stuff. Okay, so uh, what's next? There's only two boxes that remain in this. So, and actually, depending on our time here, I could try to fumble around and potentially put together something if I can do it. 
Uh, Rebel Troopers are next. So these are the Rebel Troopers. Now this is a pack. This is a big box pack. This one actually has three miniatures inside of it. Uh, so instead of just having the one, this is kind of like what you saw from the very first, uh, well, I guess from the fourth Star Wars movie, the very first one we all uh, saw, uh, where all the Rebel Troopers are in the corridors of the Krillian Corvette. Uh, these are these guys, and you get three of them. So they look like this, and very cool, as well as a bunch of cards. It's a bigger box one, so it, it likely has some extra stuff. It looks like it does. Uh, this one has some tokens. That's kind of interesting, actually. Tokens and stickers. Okay, interesting. So we got some stickers, got some tokens. I uh, have to keep those together with this stuff. Um, everyone's familiar with these guys. They're essentially stormtroopers on the on the rebel side, but they can actually shoot. Uh, but I mean, they're they're probably just as bad as the stormtroopers are in terms of. Uh, their shooting ability. Uh, but it looks like you actually get re elite rebel troopers as well as regular, so that's cool. I, I, some of these cards you don't always get the elite forms because um, uh, they don't always make elite on everything. Um, but the rebel troopers appear to have that. Let's take a look in here. Let's see what they have for their um, side missions and skirmish maps. I'm excited to see this. So Rebel Trooper, the skirmish map is called Geonos Geonosis Foundry, and uh, it's a decent sized one too. Actually, I'm always really impressed, so, so far I've been really impressed with like the map structures and stuff like that. They seem to be decent. This one's a little smaller, Brace for Impact, so uh, you can see there there's some, huh, interesting, so he's got some, got some of the base. So again, like this is, this is a great thing to, to do if you're getting into uh, Imperial Assault, you know, there is an argument uh, where people might say, you know, you should go get the expansions instead of these miniatures, but there's also the other side of it which says, you do get quite a bit of content in these boxes, and when they're on the shelves, it's very deceiving, because when I first uh, heard about the game and first got into Imperial Assault, uh, the, the, like, I got into the basement, but when I first got into these particular expansions, I really thought you were just buying miniatures. I didn't realize you were getting extra skirmish missions, extra cards, extra side quests for your campaign. They actually do pack quite a bit of good content into this stuff. So uh, at the beginning, I kind of thought it was a ripoff, but as I'm opening these up and looking at them, I'm realizing there is a definite... Uh, there's a definite benefit to having these things, especially not, not just for the fact of having the miniatures over the tokens. That's, that's kind of why, that's the reason why most people would buy these in the first place. Um, but uh, regardless, they, they, they look like they've actually packed enough content into each of these to be worth the admission price. So, so far, I'm happy. I'm, I'm not looking at these uh, regretting anything. So the last one here to make the base game fully miniature, miniaturized, if you want to call it like that. Uh, that even makes sense. Uh, but basically, this is the last one. The Rebel Saboteurs. Saboteurs. <laughs> All right, cutting into this box. I'm actually surprised I haven't lost a finger yet. If you do see red on the camera or on the table, uh, feel free to just jump out and run, because you won't be able to help me, that's for sure. All right, so there is the back of that one. It looks like this one comes with two miniatures, based on what I'm seeing. So we've got uh, two miniatures there and a bunch of cards. Very cool. Uh, again, more tokens in sequential number because I'm opening them up correctly. I'm opening them up based on number. I think the base box has uh, one to five stickers. And we just saw the sixes, I think, come up with the uh, Rebel Troopers. Now with the uh, Saboteurs, uh, sevens is what's coming out. And of course you get stickers. So they're always numbered up in order. And as you're watching these, I've also unboxing them in order so they'll make sense. Um, and it's a good buying guide for you guys too. If you're interested in getting in the game, it also helps you understand what to get in what order. But feel free to jump the order and go for expansions if you feel that they provide more value for you. I am not going to tell you which way is better. It's totally up to you and what you are interested in in terms of enhancing your game of Imperial Assault. Okay, so here is the last uh, foldout for these guys. So the Rebel Saboteurs. Uh, very cool looking guys, actually, miniature-wise. Um, Endor Wilderness. Oh, finally, we got something from Endor. That's awesome. Uh, I'm really actually looking forward to the day that they actually create a expansion for Endor because I think they need to explore that more. Um, and then for the side mission, it's called Armed and Operational. So that's kind of an interesting one. There's your deployment and setup. 
And again, your general mission briefing. Pretty cool. I like that. All right, uh, what's inside of this? We got two miniatures in this one. So this is actually kind of surprising. I don't understand why this one's a big box and only has two miniatures. I think that's a little silly. So there are some of these where I'm kind of going, hmm, because the cost on some of them, based on what you're getting, like this one is definitely one I would go, they should have thrown an extra one of these guys in there at least, at the bare minimum, especially for it being a bigger box one. Uh, again, they're really cool. They look good. There's nothing, I have no complaints in terms of, uh, in terms of how they look detail wise they look great um, but again it just seems kind of silly to have especially that that actually i think of all the boxes i just opened for all the different extras i think that's the only one i'm kind of wondering whether that was uh, a miss on their part in terms of what they added in so what we're going to do now because we still have a few more minutes i'm going to fumble around really silly and i'm going to see whether or not i can build this um, i don't think i can fully complete this in time though but i'm going to give it a shot Worst case scenario, it'll be funny. Um, but I'm just gonna go off of what I know from, and we'll, I'll just kind of try to do this as quick as possible, not knowing what the heck I'm actually doing, and I can show you how fast you should be able to assemble this thing. So already I've got the majority of it put together. That's pretty fast actually. I'm trying to get General West to fit into the top. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of pushing and shoving to get him in there. But I think I basically got this thing built already. Uh, where is the base? Oh, I'm blind. It's right here. So I don't think you need, you know, you definitely don't need an instruction manual to figure this thing out. It's, it's self-explanatory, but like, there you go. <laughs> I basically got the whole thing done. I think that took 30 seconds. It felt like it took 30 seconds. That was, that was not very long. Now I might've done this all out of order. Um, I'm trying to do this without breaking it. That's my biggest fear. Uh, probably should have put the gun in first. <clears throat> see. Get in there. Okay, I might have to put the gun in off camera because I'm, I'm just, I don't want to risk it. So right now it's sitting out funny, but you can see there's circles. I'm supposed to push that in the back, but there's the general idea. Uh, I got the majority of it put together pretty fast. So basically, <laughs> disregard the fact that General West is not pushed all the way in and the gun in the middle there is not pushed all the way in, but there is your miniature. It's quite large on the table. It's actually quite big. So it's very cool looking. I'll put it up against... Uh, this guy here, so this is the one that comes in the base game. So there you go, you got your two, two of them now, which is even more intimidating than before. And of course this one's even more uh, intense than uh, the base game one. But there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing uh, for the miniatures, the ally and villain packs for Star Wars Imperial Assault in order to get your base game from the tokens to full miniature ready. Uh, what you're going to see coming up in the next video is going to be an unboxing for uh, the Twin Shadows, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope that's the next one in, in line, but uh, that'll be the next one that we're going to be doing. I'm really excited for that. hope you'll join me. Uh, I thank you all again for following along. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to uh, you know, get caught up on uh, board games and news and so in the solo world, uh, please feel free to subscribe and I'd love to have you as part of the channel. Uh, this community keeps growing and it's extremely very, it's extremely cool. I love, I love where this is going because uh, I'm learning so much and you guys are actually being just as much and just as helpful on your end as I am hopefully being to you. So I really hope that this thing continues and I'm enjoying every minute of it. So until the next time guys, as always, keep on rolling solo.